Hello and welcome to another video on my design and lettering. My name is Miri and today we are painting this watercolor flower bouquet. In my last video I showed you how I painted that rose in the upper right and today we use that technique on the other flowers as well. I will use my loved White Nights watercolors. They are artist grade colors, but pretty affordable compared to some other brands. But of course, you can use whatever you have on hand. As for the color range, I will use different hues of this muted red. As for brushes, I will use different sizes of the Princeton Art round brushes in 6, 2, 1, a sable round brush in 6, and my cheap but trusty Faber-Castell brush in the size 1. Two jars of water, one to wash and one to rinse the brushes. A paper tissue for excess water and pigment. And of course, some paper. This time I wanted to try out this one. It's the Gerstecker Aquarell Classic in fine grain and with 300 GSM. I started by placing circles for where I want my flowers to sit. And then started to sketch the roses. As I said in the beginning, I made a video on how I sketched and painted the rose in detail. If you missed that one, I will link it for you in the info box. The little flowers in the middle are easy four petal flowers. You can use a circle as a guideline as well to get the size of the petals evenly. To make it look more natural, I sketched some on a side angle. The cosmos on the left I drew similar to the roses. I drew a circle and chose where to put the middle. Then I started sketching the petals. As it is almost a front view, I drew the petals right from the middle. I drew five petals and some more behind them. Again I draw the outer edges a bit shaky and put folds and cuts here and there. And do you like my video so far? If so, I would be happy about a thumbs up from you and make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. Now it's time to activate the pigments with water. I mixed some permanent rose with cadmium red light and watered it down. I start with wetting the first petal and filled it with a light hue of the mixed color. Then I went in with a bit more pigment and tipped it on the bottom edge of the petal.
on the bigger petals we can color it more gradient. Again, I wetted the petal first and tipped pigment at the inner edge. With a clean, damp brush, I feather out the edge of the colored line, but leave the outer edge mostly untouched. And isn't that a beautiful look? You really must try that out. It is so satisfying and relaxing to paint with that technique. As I was never on an art school or had art lessons of any sort, I teach myself by reading, watching YouTube videos and by trying things out. And that technique I found on the YouTube channel of Debbie Walker Art and I love her videos. I will link her channel somewhere in the info box. And with that technique, I colored petal after petal. The little flowers in the middle I colored in a mix of cadmium red light and cadmium orange and tipped a mix of that color with burnt umber in the middle while it was still wet. While that had to dry, I painted the first bud. I used yellow-green and muted that slightly with quinacridone rose. I feathered the color out into the middle. The same I did with the upper part of that, but with the pinkish mix from before. That for I left the middle part mostly untouched. After that, I filled the last petals of the middle flowers and colored the middle with yellow ochre.
Then I started on the cosmos. I used the same technique as on the rose. I wetted the petal first, went in with pigment on the inner part and feathered that out. The same I did for the shadow parts of the flowers, by the way. Where the shadow would sit on the petals, I painted that in with pigment and feathered that out into the rest of the petal. I drew some lines to indicate the texture of the petals and to make it more interesting. The middle I painted with cadmium yellow medium, leaving a little part of it lighter and even darkened the bottom part with yellow ochre.
as I wanted the bouquet to look autumnal, I painted some weeds around the flowers. I used some Chinese white mixed with yellow ochre and muted it with a tiny bit of cobalt blue. I darkened the shadow parts to create more depth. But I wished I didn't draw them that dark in the center. But yeah, <laughs> it is as it is. For the leaves I used Davies Grey and Green. I started with Davies Grey and tipped some green into the leaves for some interest.
How do you like the end result? What do you think about this blending technique? Let me know in the comments. If you are still here, thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope you liked this video and maybe learned a bit out of it. Let me know if you tried it yourself and how it would work for you. I wish you a great day and hope to see you again in my next video. Bye bye.